Good morning. My name is Wanda Raimundi Ortiz and I'm based in Orlando, Florida. So, um, which artwork, single artwork, uh, impacted me? Uh, gosh, I mean, this is a hard, hard question to answer. Um, but if I had to pluck one out of thin air, I would say that uh, Frida Kahlo self-portrait in 1948, you know, the one where she's got the white, beautiful veil around her head and she's got tears uh, coming down her eye, the, down her cheeks. Uh, that one really had a big impact on me um, as a young woman, uh, a young Puerto Rican woman uh, trying to figure out her voice in the art world. Um, and it wasn't, I don't think it wasn't, the reason why that piece was so important to me is because, um, I'd seen it in, I believe it was 2002, um, at a retrospective of her work in Museo del Barrio. And while I'd seen her work, you know, images here and there, I was standing in front of this particular painting and I was moved to tears, um, because it suddenly hit me that I had license to make work about my experience, about my intimate personal experience. And I didn't have to manicure or groom my work or imaging to satisfy white audiences or white tastes, you know, white American, you know, you know what I mean? Um, and, uh, uh, and that was a really big moment. That was a really liberating moment for me because up until that point, as a young uh, woman of color in the art world in New York, you know, starting to think about my practice as a way of making a living, not just something that was kind of either happenstance or, um, you know, something that I had to do as a side gig. It. I was struggling with how am I going to make a living if the work that I'm making is so culture specific that, and I didn't even know that's what you called it at the time. It was more like, um, you know, this is the stuff that I, um, that I, that moves me and, 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 and I feel is valid for, uh, mining as art making, as art material. Right. But who's going to buy this? Right. Because uh, in my mind, in my young, naive mind, well, not, really, not so naive, but but in my young mind, the people that could, that would like what I wanted to make couldn't afford to pay what I thought my work was worth. And the people that could afford to pay what I thought my work was worth would not be interested in the stories of some young inner, inner city Puerto Rican chick from the hood, right? And something about La Frida's... Uh, gestures in her work and the honesty and the unapologetic nature and her approach paired with exquisite execution for me gave me validation as a woman as a woman of color as a maker um that i could be as raw as honest as vulnerable as i wanted to be in my work and not apologize for it. And that's a lesson that I have carried with me to this very day. What does the X in Latinx art mean to me? Well, as a stateside uh, Puerto Rican, a stateside born, you know, diaspora, uh, Afro-Puerto Rican, uh, insert identifier here, um, for me, it's that the X factor is the not being enough of something or too much of something else and not easily uh, categorize, categorizable, is that a word? Um, entity, right? And so the work that I make is pretty Afro-Latinx, right? Afro-Latino, uh, Afro-Boricua. Um, but, you know, I dabble in other things and I find that as the position that I am sociopolitically, I am not Latino or Latina in the sense of born in Latin America, Central America. Some people don't even want to say that I'm Puerto Rican because I was born in the States. So that 
that entire complex uh, narrative um, of not of not being Latino enough, not being this enough, not being American enough, whatever those things are, for me creates a big X factor. And the and the fact that because of that X factor for me, and let's not forget gender neutrality. Um, and I don't want to diminish that or say that as an aside, but that is simply the other side of that, um, the other part of that piece. The thing is, uh, for me, is that, you know, um, it also makes it, makes it easy to kind of, because you're not enough of one thing or another, it makes it easy to sort of push you to the side and not deal with you or some, there's some, some notion of lack of authenticity of your voice over someone else's. So um, I think that the that the X factor, I think for me, that's the that's the role that it has in my practice and in my um in my definition, in my in my view. That's what it means to me.